What's going on guys? I hope today's video can bring you guys some value in some way. And I think today I want to start a new series that I've been thinking thing about, thinking about doing. And it's pretty much a series pretty much analyzing and dissecting people that I've been inspired from and there's there's certain successful individuals that I've kind of looked towards to inherit some values that they've always had and I think that's a good trait I've always had as, as a person I've always looked towards people that are certainly more successful than me and better than me and like what they're doing opinion on success is people that make room in their lives and totally are able to center their lives around the things they actually care about whether that's you know being around uh, your family or your loved ones or going out and pretty much enabling yourself to make a career out of something you're passionate about. Also just having total freedom and being able to bend life in a way you want to. That's my definition of success. Everybody has their own definition of success. And so the people that I tend to look towards to, they're usually people like that. They usually are able to bend life by their own way. So with that out the window, I think my first person I'm gonna be starting with is YouTube's best. Casey Neistat. I think I'm gonna go on a little background of Casey Neistat and his like background history of as a person. And Casey's a filmmaker and he's a famous YouTuber and he's had a successful HBO series and is sort of a revolutionary figure in YouTube, in the YouTube space. So Casey first picked up a camera when he was young, when he first had a kid, he, he liked to record his, his kid, Owen. He was very fairly young uh, when he first had a kid, so it was a great struggle. He had to drop out of uh, high school, he had to go try to support himself and his kid. Um, it's a struggle because you can barely even take care of yourself, let alone a kid. And so I think early on he had to realize that he's not living this life just for him. Like he has a person, he has a kid that he has in the equation he has to worry about him too so you have two people you have to really worry about yourself and your kid and that's what he realized early on i think that probably uh gave him a little spark to hard work harder in like his life ultimately which would lead on to later things and uh in the early 2000s uh things started kicking off for him and his brother um he got many connections out in new york city which is the place that he wanted to live at and he went there super broke. Um, but it paid off because he got some great connections, um, especially with a guy named Tom Sachs, which is a creative genius. And they got a little something going, they got a little startup going, got a TV show going, HBO. And it was pretty much a show that was totally different from everything that aired on television. And this sort of kickstarted Casey's um, career. His brother introduced him to the Macintosh, which is an old Apple computer. and the concept of editing video was brought to the hands of people that had this computer and that really that really uh, inspired Casey and really intrigued him and he just loved the idea of filming and then going in and editing that gives a gives like a uh, creation aspect to the whole equation of film so he was doing this way before YouTube you got to get this like this is a this is a thing you have to realize with Casey's success is he was editing, producing, and his own he was cultivating his own style and all this stuff five years before YouTube ever took off. And he was cultivating the style and then you know you you go down you go 12, 13 years down down the line when he started YouTube. He was already way ahead of everybody else that was in the vlogging game or in the YouTube game. He already cultivated his own style, and that's really probably to me what really just blew him up on YouTube. So that's pretty much Casey Neistat. He has some really kick-ass videos. So when you really look at Casey Neistat and his content, you kind of see and you kind of kind of sense that underlying message that's just in, in almost every single video. And that message is just sort of working harder and like optimizing your time and going out and just doing and doing more and that's pretty much the underlining the underlining thing you get out of every single vlog that you you, you watch and this really uh, started hitting a home for me when I was watching his videos and I was like just relating to this like guru of filmmaking and productivity and hard work and, and it just really inspired me and flickered me and it pretty much showed me something that school would never show me ever and I was learning this kind of stuff through watching a guy that was online and it really hit home for me. I think Casey has a unique persona of just bending life in his own way, totally living by his own creative ag agenda. 
Casey DeMeo was one of the first people I saw live in this such way. And I didn't even hardly knew that it existed, where you could just live so much by your agenda, not having your time get sucked up by a job that you don't necessarily want to be even at. And I think Casey was the first guy to really show that. And he's totally doing what he wants in life. And that's so inspiring. That's just something to live, to work for, to get to that point. And it was one of the first examples I've ever seen of a guy doing something like that. So apparent so obvious that he's just doing everything he wanted wants to do and i never really realized that sort of concept because i was still in high school and you know just kind of thinking in a way like oh yeah i'll get a job and you know things like that but i know i just never realized that I, for me personally i want to be doing something i want to be doing in my life and that's the ultimate thing i want to work for that's true happiness as many of us know he took the whole vlogging genre to a whole new other level he talked about when he first started he was very intrigued by vlogging but he wanted to make his vlogs more transitional and more creatively constructive as possible this leads to his vlogs having like time lapse drone shots nice cuts and overall flow flow of a storyline and this kind of really keeps the viewer's attention. Casey sort of, as you can see, Casey sort of scratched his own itch and did something new. He realized he wanted to construct his vlogs in a more meaningful way, in a more story-based way. Another thing you'll instantly notice about Casey is this is like, I never looked at tattoos in the way he does. He sort of uses his tattoos as sort of affirmations. His prime example is the tattoo, do more. And that's something he wants to remind himself every single day, so he put a permanent note on his body for an affirmation as a daily reminder. And sort of just like note-taking in a sense. And I never looked at tattoos in that sort of way until he has kind of shown that. Now, so things that I've sort of cultivated from Casey and implemented them into my life. I think Casey was one of the original things that really just kicked me into just trying to be more produ productive and to totally dive into life and to totally realize that I want to be doing something I love for the rest of my life. I think he was one of those first people that just really planted that into my head. And it's really sad that some people miss that main point in life and that's what you call midlife crisis. When you realized, oh, I just did past 40 years in a way I don't necessarily I didn't really want I kind of just listened to everybody else and what they think I should do instead I should have been listening to myself and that's something that I don't want at all and I think Casey really inspired me to live in that mindset like hey I want to be doing what I want to in this one life like no matter what you know, parents say, or the education system says, or society says. I want to be going out there and doing something, and chasing my dreams, and doing like what I want to do. And that's sort of just what Casey is like portrayed in his like messages that he talks about a lot. Another neat thing you can really see is he, his actual love for his family, his wife, and his kids. Genuine guys, genuine love, um, and. I feel as though he does a lot of what he does, you know, for them, for his family. Um, and I do see that he loves his fans too. And uh, he really cares about his fans because he has some, you know, nice conversations in his vlogs. And he likes that transparency and being connected with the people that view him as he shows his life. So I think ultimately Casey has really cultivated my mindset better for the productivity and realizing that I want to be doing something I love to do in life. And I think those are the main things I've really gotten out of Casey. Such a great guy and very inspiring to thousands if not millions of people in their lives. I wanted to do a quote and a significant book that they have like talked about a lot in their podcasts or videos or the book The Second World War by John Keegan and he's talked about this in, po in podcasts before that I've listened to but he just talks about the, the concept of gratitude and, and when you read a horrific survival story from the the book The Second World War um, it just kind of grounds you into realizing like you need to be grateful for like where you're at like if you're living not in war seeing horrible stuff in the world you need to be grateful that you're not just be grateful for 
this is the things you have. And that's the thing he was talking about from that book. And I would say my favorite quote by Casey Neistat <laughs> is, The most dangerous thing you can do in life is play it safe. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it brought some value to you. I certainly have people lined up to where I'm going to be talking about and analyzing. Um, but if there's a person you think I should be analyzing and you come across this video and you watch it this far along, go ahead and comment the person's name down below. Um, and I'll do a little analysis on him. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, conversate below. And uh, yeah, see ya.